All right. Hi, this is Atticon, and welcome to part four of our revisit of Railway Empire 2 Campaign Mission 1. So we have got our nice three-city cluster going here, and we've gotten everything set up. We are set for the success of this. We have train lines running that should allow that to happen pretty quickly from Syracuse, and that just says from Syracuse, so I'm assuming it could go either way. So we've got from Syracuse, we've got, you know, going to Buffalo, here's one, two, three, 100, there's 150 right there going to Buffalo. And here's, there's eight right there. And then we go the other direction, Syracuse to Albany. And we've got one, two, three, there's 160 going to Albany. And then this one here will load up. Let's just watch what it does when it comes in there and loads back up. See if it takes any more out there. Just a few. Okay, so we really the one train, these, are, these could be run as one train lines, but it's fine. We're making sure we get all our passengers by having the extra, extra train. All right, so we're getting growth in our cities. What do we have to do? Well, there, we've already got 150. <laughs> and we need to put a university in Albany, which is, which means move Albany up to 90,000. And after that, we need an express line, Boston to Philadelphia, but we don't have the ability to, to get down in here, right? Here's Philly. We're going to want a line that comes out of this and runs out, bypasses all of this, perhaps, runs down and comes into a passenger station in Philly. Unless, what I prefer is if we can go in here and buy him out, or can we even buy him out beforehand? No, we can't trade shares yet. What's he worth? He's a, he's values 9.5 million, ours is 20 million. So, shouldn't be a bad thing to buy him out. We'd like to get down here as quickly as we can. And we know we have tasks to grow this region, and that's Philadelphia, Washington, Pittsburgh. We've got beer, we've got cloth, we've got meat. Perfect little three-city cluster we can get going down here. And it only has to go to 75,000. And then we need to come down here later and get Charlottesville, Big Lick, and Norfolk. That's meat, meat, and cloth. So we're going to have to get beer down here. And we probably don't want to leave out Parkersburg because that's my home state of West Virginia. So we'll make sure we get that somehow, some way, unless it's going to cost us on our task. All right, so I think we're in good shape on that. Um, I'll let it run for a minute. And let me think about Boston, Philly. We can't do anything. Eight loads of salt were already set up to take salt to New York City. We just talked about growing that mid-Atlantic and buying Barty stock. So I think what will happen, and New York's hit 120. That's nice. And Albany's hit 60. Boston's about to hit 60 with really high demand satisfaction. Now, the other thing we didn't do, we looked at our lines. Did we, did we make sure we had enough um, of the raw materials like here we're making nine point what's that 6.4246 yeah that's good the beer we're making 6.4246 that's good the cloth we're up to 11 that should be good the clo clothing's 3.2123 that's actually should be good except for the leakage down this way but I don't see any these cities aren't big enough to need it, so that's good. The clothes will not leak. They should just go to these two cities. In fact, you can see 84%, 67%. They are going to the other cities. Planks. Planks are a little low, 1.6. And we need one, two, and probably need at least three. Let's, let's bump up our planks production. Um, well, that's weaving mill, sawmills. Um, yeah, let's get it up to 3.2. That would be good. All right, cool. So bump up our planks. The clothing should be around 3, and it already is. And we're, we're still having trouble keeping enough um, textiles. That's the problem. 
we could consider going out here to some place like London and putting in, you know, running this and taking textiles into our system. That that would not be the worst move we could ever make because it's we're really struggling at this point. Look at this. We have no exports of either of these. Now, that doesn't mean doomsday. See, we do have some here in, in Albany, but not much, nothing coming. We have some dresses and a little bit coming to them. Uh, Boston has zero. We're not getting any cloth. Is there cloth up here? Banger. Let, let's, let's do this. And we don't we won't even have to build extra extra stations or anything. Let's just go like this. Let's go. Let's feed. And it won't hurt us. It's just more, you know, kind of money we can make. Let's um let's feed banger. The wool. Uh, okay, have a run full here. Oh, oh, that's a mistake. We don't need to, no, how'd that happen? Did I have that set backwards or something? Archer stopped to here. Yeah, that's better. One. Um, with the John Bull running freight. Okay. And then let's just set up a line. Uh, in fact, we can do it as a, um, and we will give it our station. We'll give it a station just for this purpose. We'll give it a station. We'll give it repairs. We'll run track like this. Here we really only for now only need a a single platform. Run it out like that. Give us signals. And let's have a train that runs full to Boston. Nope. Let's just go Boston. Ah, uh, it won't work. All right. I want it to go to the freight because I'm going to put it in a warehouse to go to other places if needed. So we're going to go here. Okay. And that being said, I would also like it to bypass Portland. You know, it's kind of a why not. It's not a big deal, but you know, it's, it's like a why not. Why wouldn't you? So just come out here like this, go around that building, and like so, go here. All right, and let's run a line that goes from here to Boston, a freight line that runs full out of track one. Okay, and then in Boston at our um, warehouse, we will actually warehouse the um, cloth so it can go to other cities, potentially. It can potentially go to other cities. And here we go, we're already getting a full load. And we could do that from the other end as well. Like we could take London. Well, we could run London to Albany. That might not be the worst idea we ever had. I, I think, I'm sure I've had much worse. So let's just do that. Let's go here and here. And this should already be set up to jog over. Yeah, it's already set up to jog over here to go to the freight, freight station. So we can we can put an, another little station here in um, in London, like this. Uh, we can call it London 
straight south. And we can set up a track that just goes and gets on the rest of this, like so. And comes back like that. And here to Albany Freight with a freight line run full and we'll give this maintenance it picks up supplies it can run over there so now we we've kind of that's our weak link right now is getting cloth in there and we'll just take advantage of London feeding Albany and Bangor feeding Boston and then New York can kind of feed itself, we hope, uh, whenever we can get enough wool. And I think our problem with the wool is the fact that this, this guy exists. If he didn't exist, we'd be getting plenty of wool from right up here. We could run plenty of wool down here and, and get that done. Uh, do we have a signaling problem or what's the deal here? That just seems weird to me that this line, New York City West, Boston Freight West. Um, please don't tell me we've got signal issues in our main track. It doesn't, doesn't look like it. Tell you what we... Yeah, we've already built, expanded this to four. The passenger line doesn't seem too bad. Okay, we had a good quarter. Our freight went up a lot. Passengers up a little. Fair amount of gain here. A little gain in production. Uh, nice quarter. Okay, and we got our three stars. So let's go out here. Well, actually, we kind of wanted that, didn't we? Ooh, bigger bond. Uh, yeah, I want that. I want that. I want, I want that. Okay. So we can get the reliability and the maintenance time, and then we'll go here. And maintenance, reliability, maintenance, maintenance, and then we'll go three and three. So we'll go one, two, three, four, one, one, a one, a two, a three, a three. <laughs> That'll be our tactic. Okay. All of our cities are growing you know, through 60,000, over 100%. Through 60, over 100%. Or no, that's the same one. Through 60, over almost 80, almost 90. We're over 100, we're over at New York at 125,000. Okay. That's a good thing. And that train did deploy finally. Okay. Very good. A few we years ago, something. people in Albany were still yeah, I didn't skeptical think that about the long. railroad. So we finished Your our passengers. Will silence even the hardiest naysayers. Now it's just on us to build this up to... Uh, Albany up to 90 and we're, and we're doing about as well as we can do with it right now right um, I think we have everything optimized we're making a lot of money we could we could consider uh, the timing of it yeah we've got time to grow up here why don't we make London Toronto, Ottawa, a three-city cluster. Okay. Uh, you know what we didn't do is bring extra wool into London. So we'll we'll fix that while we fix all of this. So we're going to put three freight stations and line them up on these three cities. Then we're going to give them dedicated track because now we have the money to do that sort of thing. So we'll just build our freight lines and hooking in like that and double, double, double tracked like that. And like that. And switches and it picks up supplies. It's all beautiful. And now we'll build this side of it 
to go from here to here like that double track give it switches and signals and it picks up supplies okay good now first thing we can do is just set a couple of trains in motion here to he here freight and a couple from auto I know Ottawa to London freight and we can put more trains on that that's a longer line and then we want Toronto to Ottawa freight uh, yeah I like that okay that looks good and now let's start just feeding stuff in there, right? So the first thing we want to get would be this um, wool. Okay, <laughs> sorry, had an interruption. Got to remind myself what we were doing. Ah, here we go. We were going to set up maintenance. We were going to run a connection down to the freight station. And we were going to run wool into London. Okay, and then we were going to uh, start loading things into the system. So we've got, uh, we've got, we've got grain going into Ottawa. We've got veggies over there, we've got wood. We could do three things into Ottawa, and I think we would want to make this a warehouse. We could do grain and wood and veggies into Ottawa, and then we could do oh. We could do grain and fruit into Toronto. Grain and fruit. And then down here so far, nothing. Um, maybe salt eventually. That's a little weak. There's corn. The corn is way up here. Guess we'd run it to Ottawa as well. Okay, let's get that. Now, um, we we could grow Montreal and Quebec City, but I don't want to kind of. I don't want to really. I don't want try to do that much right now so let's just go out here let's let's get our better view and let's just go out here and get a station to haul corn into our cluster like that Like this okay. 
Okay, and then we need switching here and signals. And let's put our uh, tower down this way in case we run something else in it. Well, like vegetables, yeah. Okay, we have corn running into here. We can anticipate a, like a need of three. This is a long line. Let's look at it. It's uh, a three would be about an ATS run two trains on that. Okay, that should be good. And then let's run veggies into this one as well. And I think we'll just go right ahead and make this a... Look at that, it's a nine mile track. Look how short that looks. Okay. And then veggies can come down from here. And like this. And just plug in like that. Yeah, that's good enough. The speed may not be perfect coming back, but that's okay. Uh, it's, oh, it's just slow at the end. Okay. And and this won't run for a while, I don't think. They're not quite ready for the vegetables, but we'll have them, whoops, we'll have them queued up when the time comes. Okay. And the lumber, we definitely want that. Okay. That can come into these two. Oh, oh, oh. And I thought that thought something seemed wrong. We need to go ahead and extend this out first and make it four platforms. And then plug it into, into this. getting growth in Ottawa and we've got grain and let's get um, uh, we do have a warehouse here let's run let's run the uh, grain in there right away from up here I think and into the freight line And let, uh, let's just go ahead and make this. Um, 
Let's go ahead and expand this side as well. set up fruit even though we're not ready for it yeah let's go let's go on the outside It'd be easier outside of this one fruit queued up and ready to go and then the last thing we kind of want is um, to get our get our um, cattle coming in here and we'll plug it in over here So we've got wood, grain, corn, fruit, cattle and wool, sugar. It's missing sugar. There's sugar way over here. I mean, we could run it over there. How close are we? 73 and getting good growth. Seven, 70 and getting good growth, and we're over 120 here. We may even stunt New York's growth at some point just to keep it from consuming everything there is. Okay. Now, the other thing we know that's coming up, when we finish this, we know there's going to be this express line between Boston and Philly. And what we can do is is get that built as far as we can take it and just have it ready to go. So we, what we'd want to do is like, well, I don't know, we might be able to buy him off. We're not going to do that. We can build that on pause later, which makes perfect sense to me. Okay, I know you're getting tired of hearing this, but uh, more interruptions. So where, where, where were we? Uh, bah, bah, bah. We're trying to get to 90. We've got 73 and growing nicely. Oh, I was talking about sugar. Do we want to run it up here? I don't think I care that much. Um, how are we looking here now? Uh, I, I really want to look at the cloth. Okay, they've got cloth more on the way. That's good. They've got dresses. they got this. They're not getting alcohol now. You're supposed to be making alcohol, aren't you? Right here. Boston has none to export. Have we not bumped it up? We have not. It needs to be making at least three. All right, we'll bump it up a couple times. It's probably just making enough to drink in Boston. 
So Cheers is doing just fine, but New York and Albany will just have to be dry for a while or settle for beer. Okay, so now what do we need? Um, 1.6, This line should be just fine. It's a seven. Uh, he's producing, I think he's producing enough. We just want to see some beer. There we go. Now we got beer to export already. Okay, and look at this. They're all double digit growth. That's nice. We kind of like to see this pump, pump up, but it's not a major deal. All right, let's just let this run. Oh, um, I do want to take a, a look at the next tasks. Uh, just to make sure there's anything. We, we've already got salt ready, salt going to New York City. We know we have to go Pittsburgh, Philly, Washington. We can't do anything about it. We can't buy Barty's stock. We, we've done everything we can do. So let's just let it go. Let it run. Enjoy the city growth here and the increased profits on some of our lines and, you know, that good stuff. I don't like being single tick down here. They need cheese and salt and furniture. Furniture is probably going to be the third business in one of these. But uh, the cheese, we've got plenty here. Why aren't you shipping it? One our freight line, which is, I think, this one? I think not. I think it's our coming out of here Albany freight to Boston oh we only have two trains on it oh goodness put some more trains on it and even at that We're having a hard time getting all the uh, uh, manufactured goods. Hmm. Hmm. And we got plenty. Of, I think what we may have to do here is go with a line that goes from like Albany to Boston. Freight. And just tell it, don't take the raw materials. Just take the, the manufactured goods and then go to the other one and don't take raw materials, just the manufactured goods. Put a couple of trains on that and let's see if we don't get some, there we go, at least we're getting beer down there. And I think we're probably going to need to do that for all of these, like you to you, freight, don't take that, don't take that, no, 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 couple trains, and then we're probably going to want one from this freight to that freight, which is a freight line. And no, and no, and no, and no, and no. Okay, here we go. We've hit 90. Let's go... Um, Let's go with um, 
University. Well done. People are ecstatic about our new university. Have you heard yet? We've won the election. I am now the mayor of Albany. You are truly a genius. I just spoke to the mayor of Philadelphia. They're willing to grant us access to the southern part of the East Coast. For a fee, of course. We should definitely take advantage of this opportunity. So, we finally meet face to face. We haven't been formally introduced yet, but really, there's only one thing you need to know. Nothing goes down here without my permission. As long as you don't get in my way while on my turf, we'll have no problem with each other. Ugh, what an unpleasant guy. It's best not to pay any attention to this bully for now. Let us focus on earning money. Okay, so we finished that whole set. Now we've got, oh, now we've gotten our more tasks here and our optionals. Uh, what would it take to buy Barty? 15 million. Uh, what are we worth? Or we could do 2.8 million. No, 27. That's right, 27 million. <laughs> Sorry. So 2.7 million would be our biggest bond. So we... we mm, we're going to have to accumulate some cash to buy. And I think... Ooh, and we need a lot of money to get into the Mid-Atlantic. And we need to get in there. And we need to get in here because we we got to start growing this. So, okay, we've got, we've got, still got our three city cluster growing. Uh, you've hit 90, oh, an industry here. I think furniture would be next. Uh, we got this, this, this. It's furniture or ceramics. Now it's not a bad place for ceramics. You got coal and you got clay. And we could put furniture here and we have a direct line of uh, wood here. So let's do a ceramics. Let's put ceramics in Albany. And next episode we'll set up the clay We've already got the clay. We'll just run a line that, that um, prioritizes it. And we'll run the clay in, get ceramics going to our three-city cluster. That'll be good. And then we'll get that Boston line going down to Philadelphia with a train on it to get that express status. And we'll think about, I'd really like to buy him out first. Uh, uh, a big decision here is do we buy him out blow him up so he's out of the way or do we build around him i think we'll we'll mull that over and make that decision in the next episode so i hope you enjoyed that i hope it'll help you become a better player i hope you'll like comment subscribe and share and join us for our next railway empire 2 video thank you